afternoon, kids, parents, grandparents, and friends. And welcome to our 2022 virtual children's concert. I'm Michael Mirapolsky, music director of the Cascade Symphony, and I'm very happy that you are with us today. You're about to enjoy a lot of beautiful music this afternoon. Since many of you liked the percussion lesson at our last concert, we will start with another one today. Then, the winner of our Rising Star Competition cellist, William Miguel Johnson, will perform the virtuosa Introduction and Polonaise Brillante by Polish composer Frédéric Chopin. And then, both our famous percussion ensemble and the whole orchestra will perform the legendary Carnival of the Animals by French composer Camille Saint-Saëns and narrated by our own Dave Delaki. We miss you so much and hope to see you all next year at our beautiful Edmonds Center for the Arts. And now, let's enjoy the music. Good morning, my friends. My name is Mackenzie Alvarez, and I'm a member of the Cascade Percussion Ensemble, and I'm part of the percussion section in the Cascade Symphony Orchestra. I'm really excited to be doing two mini lessons here today. In our very first one, we're going to start by warming up our voices, and then we're going to learn one of my very favorite easy songs. In our second lesson, we're going to practice some rhythms and then practice how we can build those rhythms using pencils. Here we go. So first things first, I've got my slide whistle here and it can go up high and down low. So I'm going to show you a few different sounds and your job is to show me with your finger and your voice like it would sound. So if I went you go. Here we go. All right, two more. And one tricky one. Excellent work. I'm sure you're doing a fantastic job over at your home. All right, so today we're gonna be learning a song called Apple Tree, and it's really simple. I'll sing a part, you'll sing it back. So my turn, then your turn. We're gonna break it down, starting in tiny pieces, then we'll learn the whole song. My turn first. Apple tree, apple tree. Will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout. If your apples knock me out. Excellent work. All right, bigger pieces now. My turn, then your turn. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I will cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Perfect. All right, let's try the whole thing. I'm gonna sing it once by myself, then we'll try it together. So me first. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. One, two, together and. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Awesome. All right, let's try it two more times together. One, two, here we go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. I think you can do it by yourself. You don't need me this time. One, two, just you. Nice. So, you've mastered the song. Let's get ready for our rhythms. In our second lesson, that's our main focus. 
but let's practice a little bit. While you were singing, I was patting the rhythm on my leg. So let's try that together. It goes, apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. One, two, together here we go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Perfect. Last thing before I send you on your way, we're going to try it with singing and our rhythms. One, Two, sing the song and pat your leg. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Awesome job, friends. I will see you in video number two.
Hello, my friends, it's Mackenzie here, and welcome back to my little learning nook here. So today we're gonna be reviewing what we just learned. We're gonna practice that apple tree song with our rhythm pats on our leg, and then we're gonna try to make the rhythm using some pencils or whatever you have at home. So, my turn, then your turn. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Good job. So, let's try the whole thing together. We don't need to break it down anymore because you are experts. Here we go. Ready, and. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Perfect. Great job doing two things at once. You are singing and you are patting that rhythm on your leg. So now we're gonna try to see what the rhythm looks like. And you might notice that the same rhythms happen in apple tree twice. We've got apple tree, Apple tree, will your apples fall on me? Or tee tee ta, tee tee ta, tee 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 ta. So that happens once. And then when we sing, I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out, it's still tee tee ta, tee tee ta, tee 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 ta. So we're doing the same two measures or two little sentences of music twice in a row. So I've got just the right number of pencils here, but you can go ahead and grab anything that's like a stick in your house. Grab a big handful. You could use popsicle sticks, markers, even toothpicks. You can find anything you want. And I'm gonna try to build that rhythm. So here with these three, I've got TT right there. Here's a ta. So we've got ti ti ta. We're making another ti ti right there. And you can go ahead and follow along with me or do it on your own afterwards. So that's our first measure. Apple tree, apple tree. Then I have just the right amount of sticks for will your apples fall on me? So if you're building it along at home, here we go. Will your apples fall on me. So it looks like I need it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 sticks. Let's try to say this together and I'm going to track that rhythm with the pencils using my finger. Ti-ti-ta, ti-ti-ta, T T T T T T ta again T T ta T T ta T T T T T T ta. Let's try that together using T T and ta. One, two, here we go. T T ta T T ta T T T T T T ta T T ta T T ta. Tee, 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 ta. If you have like a million pencils at your house, you could even do two of these sets. So you could have the whole version and not have to go back. Now let's try it. Our last job is to try tracking the rhythm with our finger, with our like stick party over here, and sing the song. One, two, my turn first and then your turn. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Let's try that together, here we go. Apple tree, apple tree, will your apples fall on me? I won't cry, I won't shout, if your apples knock me out. Excellent work, my friends. It was so much fun teaching you a lesson today, and I'm so excited for you to enjoy the rest of our Cascade Symphony Orchestra concert. Bye-bye. Camille Saint-Saëns was racked with pains when people addressed him as Saint Saints. He held the human race to blame because it could not pronounce his name. So... 
he turned with metronome and fife to glorify other kinds of life. Be quiet, please, for here begins his salute to feathers, furs, and fins. The lion is the king of beasts and husband of the lioness. Gazelles and things on which he feasts address him as your highness. Now there are those that admire that roar of his in the African jungles and bells, but I think that wherever the lion is, I'd rather be somewhere else. Crown my brow with leaves of myrtle. I know the tortoise is a turtle. Come carve my name in stone immortal. I know the tortoise is a turtle. I know to my profound despair. I bet on one to beat a hare. I also know I'm now a pauper because of its totally tortly torpor.
elephants are useful friends, equipped with handles at both ends. And they have a wrinkled moth-proof hide. Their teeth are upside down outside. If you think the elephant preposterous, you've probably never seen a rhinoceros. The kangaroo can jump incredible. Well, he has to jump because he is edible. I could not eat a kangaroo, but many fine Australians do. Those with cookbooks as well as boomerangs prefer him in tasty kangaroo meringues. Some fish are minnows, some are whales. People like dimples, and fish like scales. Some fish are slim, and some are round. They don't get cold, they don't get drowned. But every fishwife fears for her fish. What we call mermaids, they call merfish. <laughs>
midnight in the museum hall. The fossils gathered for a ball. There were no drums or saxophones, but just the clatter of their bones. Rolling, rattling, carefree circus of mammoth polkas and mazurkas, pterodactyls and brontosauruses sang ghostly prehistoric choruses. Amid the mastodonic muscle, I caught the eye of one small fossil. Cheer up, sad world, he said, and wait. It's kind of fun to be extinct. pure conceit, he takes the crown. He looks in the mirror over and over and claims to have never heard Pavlova.
Now we've reached the grand finale on an Anomaly Carnivale. Noises near to sea and land, issues from the skillful band. All the strings contort their features, imitating crawly creatures. All the brasses look like mumps from blowing oompa oompa oops. In outdoing Barnum and Bailey and Ringling, St. Sons has done a miraculous thing lately.